Hello and welcome back to Hyperplay. AJ Prefix is an essential script to install into your game container when you're playing WinLater or GameHub because if you don't, you run the very real risk of losing your saves permanently. So if you care about saving a game when you're playing GameHub or WinLater, then you absolutely do need to install AJ Prefix into your containers. And we're going to show you how this is going to be a complete tutorial for installing AJ Prefix. Just firing up Final Fantasy VII a Remake showcase game for our impossible PC games on Retroid Pocket 5 video. Check it out if you haven't already. And we will show you what the title screen looks like when there are no save games whatsoever. Now when GameHub pushed through its latest update from version 4.1.5, which was a very good version, to 5.0.0, it completely banjaxed a lot of games. Not only did they disappear completely, but so did their saves. So that is a very important reason why you would want AJ Prefix to be installed, because you are able to keep your saves and do whatever you want with them. So here we are in Final Fantasy VII Remake, you see continue as blurred out, there are no save games. Also, the options file had everything set to high res. These were not our settings. Our settings got completely lost when GameHub updated the app. And you are at the mercy of these apps and their stability, which they're not known for in terms of your game saves. The game saves are stuck inside the container. You cannot get to them with any kind of file manager. So if you lose the app or you update the app or you want to try out different winlators, you cannot carry your saves across without AJ Prefix. AJ Prefix tells GameHub or WinLater, whichever app you are using, to store your save game files in the downloads folder of your device. Without AJ Prefix, your saves will be stuck in the mythical C drive of the container where you can't get at them. So what you need to do is come to this page or just Google GitHub AJ Prefix releases, scroll down, at the time of filming, version 10.19 is the latest version of AJ Prefix. So come all the way down until you see the .exe file there, AJ Prefix v 1019 setup.exe, and download it. All very simple, you might think. You just go ahead and open that .exe file. Absolutely not. Here is the most crucial part of the video. Once you have downloaded the .exe file, you have to rename it, and you have to rename it to Dot zip. So you change the exe to zip. And that's it. That is the most important thing you need to do. So here it is in our download, our most recent download. We'll go and rename that file, taken off the exe and just replacing it with a zip. After you've turned that file into a zip file, you then need to go to your extractor. Um, you could use 7-Zipper or Z-Archiver. For our purposes, we're using Z-Archiver here. So off we go, and we'll navigate to our download of AJ Prefix, now called .zip, and it's that one we want to extract. We're going to extract it to our download folder on our device, so exactly where the zip folder was initially, and that means that the saves will also, save game files will also end up in our devices download folder and we will be able to do whatever we want with them. We could even import new saves from the internet and just put them into the folder so that we have all the beauty of 100% save files and so on for our games. Incredibly useful. So once we've unzipped it, let's go and have a look. You will probably have two folders, one called AJ Prefix and one called AJ Prefix V10.19 set up. And that's fine. If you only have one folder, don't worry. As long as you've got one unzipped folder which says AJ Prefix, you should be fine. So we need to go into our container and show you how you can run this AJ Prefix script in your container so that your save games will be kept in your downloads folder of your device, always accessible and where you can tinker with them or move them across to your heart's content. And every time you install AJ Prefix in a new container, it will point to those game files. So you will always have them available. So we go into the AJ Prefix setup folder, then we click AJ Prefix, and this is the file you are looking for. Install Prefix for current container. That's the file you need to find. And double tap it, and AJ Prefix will start working its magic. It will start being installed into 
your container. You're looking for this dialog box that is coming up very soon. Done exclamation mark. Registries are okay. There it was. Now just shut down the container using the tab in the bottom left of the screen. Well done. You have AJ prefix installed into your container and now all your save files will be saved into your downloads folder of your device for you to enjoy at your leisure. And just to prove it works, we're going to fire up Final Fantasy VII Remake and yes, continue. We can now continue our previous games because we had AJ Prefix installed on the old version of the app. And even though it lost all our saves when the new version updated, we still have access because AJ Prefix is pointing towards our download folder where our saves have been kept safe and snug. Not only that, our settings also, our perfect settings are all there and ready to go. Absolutely fantastic. And that, ladies, gentlemen, and however you like to identify, is how you use AJ Prefix. But don't leave just yet, stick around for the end of the video because we'll show you exactly where these glorious save files are located because it's not immediately obvious or easy to find them. But they're there and we'll show you how to find them. And can we just quickly interrupt this broadcast to ask you to like this video? Many thanks. So AJ Prefix is absolutely essential, particularly if you're going to be playing a multi-dozen hour JRPG as we like to. You will always be able to get your save games, you can move them around, you can even move them between devices uh, as well as apps if you like and import all those other lovely save files from the internet as we have done and there they are, our historical save files. We will show you exactly where AJ Prefix saves the save games because it's not immediately easy to find. It's not just a question of going into your downloads folder, clicking on AJ Prefix and boom, there they are. You have to navigate through multiple folders to get to your save game files. But once you know how, as with all things AJ Prefix, it becomes very easy. So downloads on our Retroid Pocket 5 device and there we are, AJ Prefix and AJ Prefix setup. We want AJ Prefix folder. Then you go into save data, users, X user, documents, and then down to my games, and there we will see it, Final Fantasy VII Remake. And then rather counterintuitively, it's the Steam folder you want, not the saved folder. Once you're into the Steamed folder, you'll see a bunch of numbers, and then all your glorious saves. Of course, if you're not running a Steam version of the game, maybe you've got a GOG DRM free version of the game, then that folder won't say Steam, but it'll say something else, and it'll be in a similar place. So now you have everything you need to know about AJ Prefix and how to use it to keep you in control of your save data. So you can keep rampaging through those glorious games on your Retroid Pocket 5 or similar device. We do recommend the Retroid Pocket 5. We've always got a link in the description to the cheapest place to buy one. Indeed, this FF7R footage was captured on the OLED screen of our glorious Retroid Pocket 5. Incredible. And now you can try out all the different versions of WinLater and GameHub to your heart's content and... You don't have to worry about GameHub nixing all that lovely game data when it runs one of its spurious updates. Your games will be safe, thanks to the magic that is AJ Prefix. And if this was at all useful and you're interested in other WinLater and GameHub goodness, then please save your progress with Hyperplay RPG. Go on, subscribe to us, and we will bring you more helpful handheld emulation content very soon. Take care, thanks for watching. Bye bye.